this doesn't affect me personally, but it affects so many of my friends. I, I get emotional when I start talking about this stuff. I mean, this is your dream. You, you own your own home. You finally have it paid off or you take some equity out of your home to put your kids through school and then you find out your house is crumbling beneath you. The governor's been to FEMA three times. They've rejected it. Insurance companies have rejected it. So we tried to work with everybody and put a comprehensive plan together. And we had agreements with Republicans and several of them, I, I you know, said that they were looking to put you know a hundred dollar surcharge on property policies and and you know in order to get that passed we we, we brought it down to a dollar twelve dollars a year that would generate something like ten million dollars we thought we had this comprehensive package and then when we when we go out and we look at what was passed in this republican budget it, it really got me angry, frankly. You know, I mean, we're trying to do great things for people here in the state of Connecticut. Uh, John, uh, unfortunately, is one of these one of the many residents in our district that has uh, this issue with crumbling concrete. Uh, I really would like to thank the senators for working on this. Um, obviously, their proposal is very well thought out. Uh, they put a lot of work into it. It is frustrating that at the last minute, um, someone moves the cheese, and you know the, the different proposals are out there. Um, I would agree with you that this is a, a natural disaster, maybe not on the same scope as, as the hurricanes, but nonetheless, it's a disaster. And I think we should be able to work together to try to solve this. Over the last uh, couple of years, uh, we've worked on pieces of legislation to help out homeowners. Uh, and uh, right now we have a product and a bill that, that should be passed. Um, uh, uh, unanimously. It was not included in the budget that just passed though. I shared all the work that we had done with my Republican colleagues uh, so that they would also know where we were going with crumbling concrete. And uh, so they had an opportunity to take that plan and just pop it in without even doing the work associated uh, with developing the plan. But it's a truly comprehensive plan. It allows for grant funding. It allows for loans, depending on uh, people's status. Uh, it looks at uh, this from stem to stern. Uh, it allows someone to still uh, participate in holding their insurance uh, companies accountable. Uh, it is uh, truly something we, we had the governor's office uh, that participated in this. The executive branch has signed off on our plan. We have come together in the past. Uh, between four and six years ago, Hurricane Sandy came and devastated the coastline. I was chairman of Plan and Development, which Kathy succeeded me. My ranking member was Len Fasano, and Len came to me and Len said, we just got a disaster down there. He said, we got four different bills that we need to put together. And, and, and I'll bring them in here and, and so on. I said, Len, put them into one bill and try and work and get the thing done. And what they did is representatives and senators from the entire region, Democrats and Republicans, mayors and first selectmen and so on, worked together and came up with a bill that we unanimously passed in the House and Senate. The state of Connecticut passed because we cared about what happened to those people in Hurricane Sandy. This is the same thing all over again, and we expect the same advantage.